Hi everyone, uh, welcome once again to our very unique channel that's God Gifted Cameras. I'm Trup Ses Savan, founder of True Copy and welcome to our exclusive series as well that is The Right Angle. So today we have a very interesting handwriting sample to analyze. Of course ensuring the clientele information is completely maintained confidential. So we won't reveal the name to you but yes, here you go. Okay. We will talk about um, our own self-image, what I mean by that, okay? Since the time we have been fetus in our mother's womb till date, what do we think about ourselves? So let's say um, the writer's name is Akash. So does Akash think that he's confident about himself? Does he consider himself to be unique in his professional and personal life? Does he have a healthy relationship with his parents? Or um, does he feel he's not worth living or maybe he feels that um, he's not good enough whenever he tries to do something. So we have a very unique case where um, your self-image is your mental image since the time you have been fetus in the mother's womb because you listen. So kids don't understand the language but we learn everything in the form of energy. So that happens through what we observe and we hear in our environment. Since then, till date, okay, it gradually develops. So what is your mental image about yourself? How can we know that? That can be identified with the letter I, that is the uppercase I. It's also known as the personal pronoun I, the PPI, okay? So in this particular handwriting sample, if you see uh, the horizontal, by the way, the first horizontal line, talks about a healthy image that you have towards your mother figure. So mother figure can be your own mother, it can be your grandma, it can be your aunt, somebody whom you really look upon as a mother figure, it can be an elder sister. The horizontal line at the bottom talks about similarly your mental image and your relationship towards the father figure in your life. That again can be your own father, it can be your grandfather, your uncle, it can be your brother, okay? Again, the mental image about the father figure in your life and the vertical straight line purely talks about you. How healthy do you think about yourself in terms of your mental image, not the physical health? So here we have a case where um, it's very surprising to see if I talk about the size of the handwriting, it is from average to a little large. So which shows that this writer is quite confident. So let's name this writer, this character as uh, let's say Akash, okay. So Akash here looks very confident. However, there are few formations where instead of making an upper stroke or an uppercase I, he, Akash has written small i. It looks like a small letter I the way we write. So that purely shows firstly and it's an ongoing formation. It's not just once but more than one occasions. It shows that he is confident about himself in few areas of life. However, he at times underestimates himself a lot. He has a very poor self-image. Maybe he has thoughts of I'm not good enough when I have to do something in life. It can be personal or professional. Now this handwriting sample is of a writer or let's name it as Akash who is 30 plus age group, right? So that's how strongly when the subconscious uh, thoughts are embedded into our thought process, into our mind, it gradually starts reflecting into our handwriting. Another very common aspect what I've seen in case of this handwriting sample is when you talk about slants, if you meant keep a scale at a horizontal position and keep a protractor, you can see the level, the degrees there, right? 90 degrees where your handwriting sample looks absolutely straight, okay? When you tilt it a little towards the left, so you have like 45 and below, that's where we identify the mental image in terms of connecting with people around as well. So in case of Akash here, he is more of an F moving backward to an A slant writer. What does it mean technically? It shows that when Akash interacts with people around, he is very, very cautious. Second, some streak of inferiority complex since childhood has been bothering him, which is very strongly there even right now in his mind, but he is hiding about it, okay? Third, 
So combination of small letter I and the F slant we call it as moving backward. So even when his body language would be to greet someone, there is a way, somebody who is very confident, optimistic, cheerful, welcoming and warm would put his or her hand forward, you know, to shake hand. Akash will be somebody who would take a back foot. So in short, he has created a virtual barrier between you and himself and he'll greet you very formally just by saying, Hi, I'm Akash. I work with so-and-so company, right? So immediately he'll try to associate himself with the career. How did I know that? His signature actually showed that, okay? Where he has a lot of clarity. Apparently, I happen to read that he has also mentioned that uh, he loves to talk about his career. He's very much confident about it. So the concern here is not about professional growth. The concern here is personal growth. Where there are a few blockages and experiences that have happened in Akash's life, which are still there in his mind. And it can affect him at an interpersonal level when it comes to managing people and self in relationships. So I hope you liked today's video on how do you identify a low self image from one's handwriting. And um, so do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Uh, God Gifted Cameras and do watch our exclusive series The Right Angle. Thank you so much. Troops S. Savant once again from True Copy. Thank you.